Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why you should be using a colder spark plug if you have a BPU Toyota Supra. Now real quickly, what is BPU? BPU is basic power upgrade. Typically, it's bolt-ons like exhaust, headers, intake, intercooler, or if you've upped the boost on a force induction car. Now, in this video, we're also gonna be specifically talking about the Denso IK22, which is one step colder for the Toyota Supra. I'm how I am using them and how I got to find out about them and how they fixed one of my problems. All right, before we dive in, I wanna make a quick disclaimer. There's a lot of videos that go in depth about spark plug, heat ranges, and all that awesome engineering. In this video, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick description of what heat range is for a spark plug. We're gonna talk about why I put them inside my car, how they help me out, and go from there. All right, guys, so what is heat range? Heat range, and I'm gonna be reading this from enginebuildermag.com. Okay, here we go. Heat range is the speed at which a spark plug can transfer heat from the firing tip to a cylinder head water jacket and into the cooling system. Choosing the right heat range is crucial for high performance engines. If the heat range is too cold, the spark plug will be unable to properly cell clean by burning off carbon deposit. If the heat range is too hot, your engine could experience detonation, pre-ignition, or power loss. Most spark plug manufacturers recommend that the tip manu that the tip temperature remain between 500 and 850 degrees Celsius. Now, when you first pick up your car or you buy your car, the manufacturer put a spark plug in there and the heat range was determined based on how the engine was built at the manufacturer. So as you start modifying cars or changing them up and changing essentially adding power to them, uh, you're gonna need to go to a colder plug. Now, if we go to the NGK website, there's actually a really uh, great sentence here. It says, a good rule of thumb is one heat range colder for every 75 to 100 horsepower added. So as you start modifying your car, you're going to have to change out your spark plug. Now, a lot of people miss this important factor, me being one, and the reason why is because it's just one of those things that's not widely known. If you know, that's because you probably found out on your own or was told by a friend, but essentially it's an over missed item and that's why I'm making the video. So as you start adding power in a BPU setup, you, most cars will run fine uh, with, the, with the stock spark plugs, and, but in, in all actuality, you know, they, could, they could go bad, uh, you could experience missing, and that's what happened with me. So I put in a full exhaust on the Supra, I removed those cats, and essentially uh, freed up uh, any restriction for the turbo and added some power. I also added an intake, you know, you could up the boost on other cars, particular cars, but in my car I added exhaust, intake, and for a turbocharger car, that, that added some power. So what was happening is that on full throttle, um, I was on a heavy load, I was experiencing a miss at the top end. So automatically that is usually diagnosed as a coil pack issue, some type of ignition related issue. So I went into troubleshooting and I checked for the resistance and I checked out my uh, individual coil packs and uh, associated wire harness and everything came out okay. So I was kind of stuck and I went to the forms. Now if you guys don't know, um, I typically go to the forms right away because when cars like this have been out for a long time, usually issues and problems, there's a pattern of them and you can find them online and people have solved them. So it saves me a lot of issues. So I was going on there and somebody said, hey, you know, what spark plug are you using to another member? And I was like, well, does that really count? Uh, and that's what I was thinking in my head. And they were saying, we recommend you going to a colder plug. So then that's when I found out about these Denso IK22s. So I was about that time frame that I needed to change out my plugs. And guys, if you really think about it, this is just a fun automotive history, mechanic history. And if you, back in the days, if you go into like a gas station and you'd get a tune-up, it was usually oil and air filter and spark plugs. And the reason why is spark plugs were copper, they were just disposable, and a lot of them replaced them every oil change. And it, people would get their car and they'd be like, man, I, the car's running great, I just got a tune-up. 
And I just want to share that with you guys because spark plugs makes a huge difference. It just, it really can dictate if your car is running good or bad. So essentially, you know, in this case, your car could be running good, but it's not going to be running optimal. And you could be having something going on that you might not be able to catch, but over time it's going to cause an issue with your car. You know, like they were saying detonation or pre-ignition and blah, blah, blah. So essentially I picked these up and I want to share with you guys out there bring some more value to this video When I go shopping for spark plugs or just some basic stuff I usually go in advanced auto parts and what I do instead of driving to the store is I pull up the website And I put everything in my cart and I always find a coupon like 20 or 25 percent off for some reason it always works and when I hit checkout I hit pick up at store so when I show up you know I, I get stuff at a pretty good discount so these are about ten dollars each so there's six of them it's not cheap but it's doable and essentially I went in and I installed them well long story short I went back and you know it was some other day and I was going full throttle and the missing was gone so these actually fixed my issue and i was pretty happy about that because that usually doesn't happen you know i usually get these gremlins and i'm chasing them and trying to find them out but the colder plug fixed my issue for a bpu car and um and it kind of made sense because i added a decent amount of power from the manu from the how it is from oem and uh, from stock and this ended up working out. So if you guys are BPU, I highly recommend looking at a colder plug. You don't have to use this brand, but just in general, I think it's one of those good rule of thumbs. I know engine builders or like long time experienced tuners or modification people, they know this, but I didn't know this and I thought I'd make a video to share with you guys out there. Maybe you're running BPU and you've never thought about maybe getting a colder plug. It's a great thing. Well guys, Again, if you want to learn about spark plugs, there's a lot of videos. Hope this video helped you out. I always welcome you guys to subscribe. Um, really, uh, it's a great thing for us. It lets us know that we're doing something right. And it's also just a reminder for you. When a video comes up, it'll just send you a reminder that we just posted a video. And uh, we always want to say we appreciate your time and thank you for watching. And again, you guys stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.